Hello everybody, it's Gina from Ohana Eats. We've shown you some cheap eats on island and today we're gonna show you the most expensivest day in Waikiki. We're giving a special shout out to my friend Kadeen and all of the shows that she's producing, we'll throw the links down below. Let's get ready to indulge. So we're gonna start our food adventure over here at the Ritz Carlton at the restaurant Kiora. Let's go take a look. So today I got the braised short rib with a poached egg on the side, some salad, and digging. Oh, hot like butter. Mm. Yeah, that is really good. It has this flavor that's super different from other short ribs. A lot of short ribs have a very similar flavor, you know, which is meaty. Well, this one has a completely different one. It literally cut like butter. It was so tender, melted around in my mouth. Okay, so I went with the farmer's omelet today and I did get mine without cheese. The first thing that I notice is that the egg is really fluffy. It is packed full of ingredients. Take a look at the inside of this. Ready for a bite? So mushrooms are one of my favorite veggies. The thing that I love about this particular omelet is there are probably about three different kinds of mushrooms in here. I believe I'm tasting chanterelles. The mushrooms have so much texture. They're juicy. They add to the egg. This is a hearty, thick egg omelet. The seasoning is absolutely perfect. The spinach inside is nice and fresh. The mushrooms are nice and fresh. These fingerling potatoes are coated on the outside with salt and pepper and just a little bit of spice. And then also they have little pieces of red pepper inside which are nice and sweet. There's also a really nice salad on the side here. It has little pieces of watermelon radish. The salad is super fresh. It's a combination of mixed greens and spinach. Little pieces of edible flour and also little chunks of tomato. All in all, the very well-rounded breakfast and very tasty and everything is super fresh. This is really nice. Okay, so today I got the French toast. It has a hazelnut cream and it is Nutella with a side of whipped cream and a few strawberries. This really good. It's like Nutella bread pudding with French toast on the outside. It has very soft interior that tastes like a Nutella bread pudding. And then the outside, it's really crispy and chewy, and it tastes almost like a croissant. So it's a mixture of a fluffy, chewy croissant on the outside and a delicious bread pudding on the inside. I'm now going to try their avocado toast. And now I did expect it to have like a little kind of piece of bread, but this is you. It has some greens on it, a tomato, radish, and it is a toasted little piece of bread. But with this avocado, they seasoned it really well. You just get so many flavors, tasty and flavorful. And then the little greens on top, they just add a cherry on top. It's a really good piece of avocado. All right, so I went with the Loco Moco. Got some premium beef. See some mushrooms under the egg. Egg looks really good, too. So it's got like a smoky flavor. The gravy's pretty good. I'm gonna cut into this egg now. All right, so surprisingly, the egg was really good. Like, awesome egg. You can hear the texture of that mushroom. It's awesome, nice earthy flavor to it. Too. So if you're looking for a fresh, tasty, homemade Loco Moco, this is the spot. We also got the avocado toast. Can't be bougie without avocado toast. They added some greens to it, flour, a piece of tomato, and some watermelon radish. Man, that is nicely well balanced there. That's super tasty. They seasoned it with a good amount of like lime juice. It's refreshing to eat. So for lunch, we're at Wolfgang Steakhouse over here at the Royal Hawaiian Center in downtown Waikiki. Let's take a look. As an appetizer, we got the Canadian bacon. I'm gonna put a piece on top of some bread. The bacon had nice flavor, pretty good seasoning on there, and it has a nice crispy outside, very crispy. But on the inside, it's nice and chewy. And there's a little bit of fat on there, but not too much fat. So it was cooked perfectly and has great flavor. Okay, so you can see that we have this enormous T-bone over here and a sirloin. There's a good amount of au jus as well. The inside is cooked perfectly, medium rare, the way we request it. Upon biting into the steak, the first thing that hits you is the crust on the outside. It has a really nice salt and pepper flavor and very little seasoning. There's nothing overpowering with the steak. It's overall just a really nice, juicy steak. 
The filet part of it, it was tender and very juicy. The sirloin, and it was more tender than the filet, but it was less juicy. On the side, they offer some special sauce, which tastes similar to ketchup. It is tomato-based. I would say it's a lot sweeter, really good. This is a really tasty steak and a really nice treat for kind of a fancy lunch today. We also decided to get a side of the steak fries and they are nice and hearty, they're full of flavor and definitely a really good accompaniment to this steak. All right, so for lunch we went with the steak for two. So the steak came out sizzling hot, seasoned well, cooked right, pretty good. Today we wanted to take you to a fine dining experience just steps outside of the heart of Waikiki. We are at Bernini's, right across the street from the Ala Moana Mall. It's an Italian fusion restaurant with a really beautiful menu. Let's go check it out. So we decided to go with the Kampachi appetizer. It is a type of hamachi. It is sliced paper thin. It is really beautiful and fresh. This is a raw dish and it is served with these tiny little flowers, little pieces of radish, and a vinaigrette, and I believe also I see some tomatoes and capers. So let's take a bite. The first thing that hits your palate is a little bit of the acid of the vinaigrette that's on there. And then you get a teeny bit of the tomato and caper. The hamachi is so fresh. It definitely melts in your mouth. I eat a ton of hamachi here on island, and this is probably one of the more tender ones that I've ever had. The little bits of lettuce and flowers and just the little sprigs that are on top give it a nice crunch and a nice balance. This is a super nice appetizer. Today I got the filet mignon and it is a filet mignon with mashed potatoes at the bottom, a sauce and truffles on top. So I can just tell by the aroma of this that this is gonna be delicious. They cooked it exactly as I asked. This is very tender, and you might not believe me, but it cuts like literal butter. Cameraman, can you zoom into the cutting? That's how tender it is. The beef falls apart as soon as you start chewing on it. It just goes around your mouth, spreads flavor all over the place. The sauce really is a big part of it because it adds so much flavor in there. And the truffles are so tasty, it's amazing. I don't know if you guys can imagine this, but imagine the dreamland for steak, sauce, and mashed potatoes. Literally just a dreamland of all of that. It's just so good, perfect. Just so tender, the mashed potatoes. It just works together so well. It's just so good. I think this is the best steak I've ever had on Hawaii. So today I got a four cheese pizza. It came with a little side of honey and chili flake. I also added truffle. So this is a very thin crust pizza, as you can tell right there. Though it's thin crust, it's still, it's really good. The cheeses mixed together make such a powerful flavor. And then the truffle on top, just adding that truffle made it beautiful. It made it especially like very photogenic and just added so much flavor to it. Though it is such a thin crust though, I have noticed that most of it is cheese. The cheese doesn't overpower us at all and just perfectly balances this pizza. So Belle says this pizza is delish. So when she said it was thin, I didn't realize how thin it is. It is one of the thinnest pizzas I've had. It's closer to a flatbread than a pizza. It's not burnt. There's a pizza oven in the back. A lot of places burn their pizza, but no burn marks here. The cheese is very flavorful. I'll put some of the uh, red peppers on here and the uh, honey. I always love the combination of heat and sweet. This pizza just goes down real smooth. So I went with the Chilean sea bass today and it comes with a little bit of asparagus, zucchini, a tomato broth, broccoli, a little bit of basil, and we're gonna take a bite. It's broke apart so nicely. This is a really nice chunk of sea bass. It's a super fresh fish. You get all of the smokiness from the grill, the tomato, the basil, the olive oil, everything balances each other so well. This is a great piece of fish. Going with the chef recommendation of the chicken. It's a well-seasoned chicken, a well-balanced piece of chicken that's cooked right. Surprised with this veggie, it's super delicious. This is a solid meal here. So if you're looking for a fine dining experience for a fancy night out, celebration, or anything, you guys have got to check out Bernini Honolulu. I think it was Vin's favorite steak he's had so far, so definitely check them out. I will throw the link down below. As always, stay safe and aloha.